Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about frameworks since it was requested by one of our subscribers in the Discord server. So without further ado, let's hop to the video. So let's start by understanding the general term of a framework. So a framework is a real or a conceptual structure intended to serve as a support or a guide for the building of something that extends the structure into something useful. So of course it's not me who wrote this, but it's correct. So it's not any different when it comes to the programming definition. In brief, it's a structure that you can build a software on, it serves as a foundation so you're not starting entirely from scratch. And I'm not the one who said that as well, but it's correct. Software frameworks provide a template in which almost all general tasks have been handled. This allows you to focus on the core software development rather than the details of the process. Given that there is a set structure, it is simple to collaborate with others. So there is many, many, many reasons to use a framework, but let's just state five of them. It helps you avoid duplicate and redundant code. It makes it easier for developers who did not write the code to test and debug it. Frameworks are maintained by a group of people who test them so that you can use them with confidence. They help you write clean and secure code. And the time required to develop an application is significantly reduced because you can now focus on writing project-specific code and not a foundation for it. So let's talk about one of the most used frameworks for front-end, React. React is a front-end JavaScript framework developed by Meta. It helps you create user interfaces for websites and web applications. It is a popular framework that millions of developers worldwide use to create single-page applications. React uses Redux for state management and hooks to handle components' behavior and logic. It also uses JSX to create HTML and CSS within JavaScript. Of course, there are more front-end frameworks such as Vue, Angular, and Bootstrap. Now let's talk about a backend framework. One of the most known ones are Express.js. So, Express is a backend web application framework for building RESTful APIs with Node.js. Released as a free and open source software under the MIT license. It is designed for building web applications and APIs. It has been called the de facto standard server framework for Node.js. Of course, there are other backend frameworks such as Laravel. So, we conclude that using a framework saves a lot of time and effort. It is more likely to give you a better results, so that's why it's highly suggested, especially for beginners. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it. And ciao.